Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is little Lincoln right here. See, I'm five months old, guys. Look, baby. Look at the camera. Mm. He is five months old. He loves to stand a lot here lately. Um, sometimes actually he can stand like I'm barely helping him right now. Um, he does still have a tendency though to like lean forward just like when he's sitting and stuff but this is like just a few things that I like to do with him um I started doing tummy time with him at probably about three weeks old like every diaper change I would after I changed him I would lay him on his stomach for a few minutes until he got you know a little bit of aggravated and um then I would pick him up and like comfort him and stuff. But he didn't really start liking tummy time until he realized that when he's on his tummy, he can reach for toys like so. Hmm. See, I didn't really like my tummy time. Huh. Till he realized that he can actually reach for toys and stuff. Like you guys can't see this, but he's got quite a bit of toys laid out in front of him. And, um, that's when he actually started realizing that he can, like, enjoy his tummy time. And, but during those times that I was only doing, like, you know, a few minutes here, a few minutes there, all that would add up to about 30 minutes a day of tummy time. So, he was gaining all that upper body strength that was needed. And... It is, tummy time is extremely important only because it helps them, you know, be able to hold themselves up. It helps them to be able to learn how to roll themselves over, to be able to pull themselves up. He started pulling himself up at about four months old, three and a half, four months old. Like he could grab something and pull himself forward. And he started sitting at about four and a half, five months old. He um, just turned five months on the 21st. And today, I do believe, is April 30th. But um, he loves, yeah. he, like, he actually likes tummy time now. Um, he loves anything with, like, lights and... <laughs> Like, anything that you can, like, touch it and make it light up, he loves them. Absolutely loves them. And, um, he loves blocks and, like, his rattles and stuff. So, I'll always set out, like, a lot more toys than what really I should. Um, because he doesn't really get to play with all of them. But, he, you know, he's got a lot of options. And that's what he enjoys. Like, he's got this that lights up. His little um, tablet, which this is only recommended for nine month olds, but it's got lights and stuff, and he loves it. And he can, like, you know, just touch it and it lights up. And he's also got this rattle that he got for Christmas, and it also lights up and sings and things like that, and he loves that. But, um, okay, say he gets aggravated or something like during tummy time and um hold on bubba so say he's getting aggravated and he's getting all cryy i will stretch his one arm out and i will roll him over and say hi vv what are you doing huh what are you doing and i'll just play with his legs and play with these little feet and he like really enjoys that and like I'll get the his mind off of being aggravated and um like try to help him like forget it and like put his toys in his face let him see his stuff and then eventually I will roll him back over onto his belly this is what I would do like before he didn't like to be on his belly very often so like, I would do, you know, increments of, like, five minutes or to whenever he starts, like, 
I started noticing like it started getting longer and longer and longer that he actually liked to be on his belly and now it don't bother him. Um, the only thing I do not recommend is to put them on their stomach within at least a half hour to 45 minutes after them feeding because they will get sick. Rather they burped or not, they will get sick. It's like, you know, eating and then having pressure on your belly, you're going to get sick. So I would not recommend that. But, um, like anytime I walk out of the room, um, like in the living room or something, if he is not in his mamaru or playing with his, um, piano thing, like the thing that he lays down on and kicks it and plays music and stuff, if he's not doing that, and, um, I will lay him on his belly in his, uh, bassinet, the pack and play bassinet, and, uh, he enjoys it, and, you know, I can, in the mornings, I'll change him, and then put him in that on his belly, and I'll go make his bottle, my coffee, my breakfast, real quick breakfast, um, come in, grab him up, feed him, burp him, play with him for a little while, um, and then I usually go do, like, make my husband's coffee, go wake him up, and while I'm doing that, I can lay him in the pass pack and play bassinet and he is getting more tummy time so i'm getting the things that i need done and he is also getting his upper body strength that he needs um he has already rolled from his belly to his back but he has not figured out how to get from his back to his belly so we are working on that um we work on his balance um this is like an everyday thing. Like I'm a stay at home mom, so I do have the opportunity to work with him. And I'm very grateful for that. And um, I wish that every mom had that opportunity, but it sucks. Unfortunately, not every mom does. So I do appreciate all of the time that I do get with him um, because I can work with him and he is advanced and he does things that he shouldn't be able to do at this age and yeah but um and I will also show you guys here Bubba want your tablet I will also show you guys um another exercise that we do your pelican I wanted to show you guys um, the very first toy he had ever held is this one right here. Um, he was probably, I would say, about two and a half to three months old. He was holding it and he was shaking it. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a pretty good sized like rattle. And um, so like I will probably be keeping this and treasuring this forever because this is the first toy that he ever like held in his hand and shook around and um, He does still play with it. Don't ya? Who still play with it? Yeah Are you ready to play with your ball? Look looky Lo Lincoln Lincoln you gonna roll over you gonna roll over no Looky baby <gasps> Lucky, yeah. You gonna show them that you can reach your hands out? Um, as you guys know, because I've recorded it previously, we do the uh, program Help Me Grow, and she gave us this ball. Um, it's just like a regular, like rubbery. Oh, it says foam ball. It doesn't feel like foam though. But um, it's just a ball like this. Um, we. She told me to like help with his balance, like you can set him up on top of it and also like stand him up and then put him on his belly and roll him out and make sure that he puts his hands out. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I'm actually going to take his binky clip off. Are you getting excited? Are you getting excited? Yeah. All right. Stand up for mommy. Stand up. Stand. Stand, Bubba. All right. Ready? Put your belly on it. Put your belly on it. 
Woo! Oh, 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 you're doing it. For some reason, a lot of the times I have, oh, he's pushing himself. I have noticed like he'll use one hand or the other. Sometimes he don't like to use both. Um, but what are you doing, Bug Bugs? Are you rolling on the ball? You push yourself. She wins. Wee. You gotta put your arms out, huh? Wait, there you go. There you go. And then they say also to like help them with their balance to sit them actually on the ball and like hold them at their hips like this. And like you can feel their little belly muscles like tightening up as they lean this way. And then you can feel them tighten up as they lean the other way. Um, we've done this a few times, but not like we only got it just the other day, he's wanting to reach for a toy. Mommy, pick it up for you. Um, a lot of the times, like, you'll notice yourself wanting to help them. But honestly, it's better that you do not. Um, you know, being that mother, you want to help your child. Sorry about my ugly feet being in the picture, but, or in the screen, but they are. Um... But it's actually better that you don't. Um, when you let them learn and explore, they actually learn more than you telling them not to do it or showing them. Like I can see showing them how to do something but not doing it for them. Um, I feel like Lincoln's learned a lot from that, from not just me like showing him how to do something or doing it for him every time, if that made any sense. But, um, he is actually starting to, like, he can sit up on his own. He can sit up on his own, but he does like to sit. Hold on, Mommy, get it. Mommy, get it. Hey, 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 hey. See? Like, he can sit up on his own, but he leans forward when he does. Um, hey, it's okay? What's wrong? But he likes to lean forward, and I um, asked the Help Me Grow lady, like, won't that hurt his belly? And she said, no, that's actually what they do for a while. And she's like, I don't know why, but it is very, very common for them to do that. Um, so I don't know. I thought that was a little weird, but, um, what I was doing to help him, Hey, what's going on? What I would do to help him gain his, uh, muscles to like learn how to sit up like his like upper body strength muscle muscles. I would set him up like we have a, um, wrap around couch i don't know exactly what you would call him i forget mom brain but um i would set him up in the corner somewhere and um just let him sit there and he started doing that at about a month old and i would say by the time he was two and a half months two two and a half months old he was actually setting up anywhere on the couch by him like not by himself but without any support or anything like that of course you know we would stay there with him but um then he now sits up by himself and he started doing that at about four and a half months i would say and um he does like when he sits he leans forward like this which like i said you would think that would hurt his belly but they say that is very common um, I don't know if you can see now he's like hold, pushing himself up, but every day I do like to spend at least a half an hour doing different exercises with him. And then throughout the day I do his tummy time with him. Um, every day it's not the same thing that we do. We do do several different things, but, um, this is just, you know, one of the many things that we do. And honestly... 
I have seen that it helps him a lot. It entertains him. He has fun. Um, and he is gaining that strength that he needs. But, um, what's wrong, baby? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? You want your tablet? Um, I have noticed, like, he has been getting really big into wanting to, um, play with our phones. Um, like the other day I was on Instagram and he, I showed him, um, Cardi B's baby, Cardi B and Offset's little girl. She was, like, sitting on the bed, like, bouncing up and down and Cardi B was, like, going, yeah, 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 yeah. And he replayed that video for, like... 15 20 minutes and anytime that I would take it away from him he threw a fit he loves to watch other babies um they say that is also very common um so I do allow for him to watch other babies um it is very hard for me to like once he starts throwing his little fits to set him down and like tell him no you know you can't act like that because you think, you know, at five months old, he's not going to be able to understand that. But children are a lot more smarter than what we give them credit. Um, and it's a good thing to get him started on learning the word no and what no means now than it is when he's one, one and a half, two years old and when the fits get worse and worse. So I want to nip it in the bud now and not have to deal with it later. So, um, people think, you know, I'm a bad mom for that, but I mean, I don't like smack him and like scream at his face or anything like that. I just, you know, tell Lincoln, I'll be like, Lincoln, no, you cannot act like that, baby. No. And he will like, I'll take the phone from him and 30 seconds later, he's fine. Like he is laughing, playing not crying anymore. He's completely fine. So it doesn't hurt them. It doesn't bother them. And in the long run, it actually helps them. But, um, hi, boogie boogs. We have a dirty diaper on our hands. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will, um, see you guys in the next one. Um, little Lincoln here is now five months old. He was born November 21st, 2018 at 2.46 p.m. And, um, we, I work with him every day. Me and his dad do. His dad does work a lot. Um, and we appreciate everything that his dad does. He's an amazing man. And he's an amazing father. Um, Lincoln's little brother, or older brother, I'm sorry, is almost 12, and he Lincoln absolutely adores his older brother. Like, Caden can get this little boy to laugh like no other, honestly. Like, he can get him to, like, belly roll laugh. It's pretty funny. But, um, I just wanted to give you guys, like, a little update on him and show you guys how to play with a five month old, keep them entertained and let them build that upper body strength that they need to learn how to grow and walk. It's just crazy watching them. Like every day he does something new and different and it's just, it's insane. Like watching him be from, you know, this cute little innocent little tiny baby in the hospital. And the next thing you know, you know, he's holding things and He's smiling and he's laughing and then, you know, he's doing tummy time. He's getting himself up on his elbows, then his hands, then he's holding his head back. And it's just crazy, like, watching them form to be these cute little perfect little human beings. It's amazing. And being a mother, I was never supposed to experience this. And I am so grateful for God and for my husband for giving me this amazing gift. And also my reproductive system that was not supposed to be able to reproduce babies. So, see, we are very, very grateful for you, huh? See, I'm a little gift from God. It's growing every day. Oh, and that's another thing. He loves, absolutely loves to do. He 
he loves to make that noise. Like, he'll, I'll do it, and then he'll do it, and then I'll do it, and I'll, he'll do it. It's like a little game that we have. Um, anything that you like to make them do eye contact with you and to play with you in the face and... You know, it does look goofy, but it also, like, helps them um, learn how to communicate with you, do the, you know, eye contact and, you know, how I do something, he does something, I do something, he does something. That's teaching him how to communicate back and forth. And it's, you know, it's good for them. It's good for when they get older and they're learning their little communication mm. skills. See, we really hope you enjoyed, guys. I hope that you come back and see us. Huh. See, my name is Lincoln Dean, and I am five months old. To, uh, on the 21st, I turned five months old. Huh. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.